Hello and welcome to the channel IT Simplified. In today's video, I'm here to discuss capacity reservation within Azure. So let's get started. Before we get into capacity reservation and under what scenario we can utilize this service, let's talk about reservation in general in Microsoft Azure. And the first thing that comes to our mind is reserve instances. Now Microsoft gives you a lot of options when it comes to saving money against your resources. Whether you're trying to deploy databases, storage, or virtual machine, RIs are a great way of saving on these resources. Let's take example of virtual machine. When you utilize RIs for a virtual machine, you have to specify the term for one year or three years. And depending upon the duration, you can make a saving of 40 to 60%. Another thing to keep in mind is that when you try to cancel these reserve instances, Microsoft is going to charge you 12% prorated rate on the remaining term. Now, at the time I'm making this video, Microsoft is not charging you this 12% charge, but they can always bring this because we are still in the pandemic. And other thing that you also need to remember is that when you specify reserve instances in the back end, the capacity is not guaranteed for you. You'll get a priority against a normal user but you are not guaranteed for those uh, instances that you have specified in reserve instances. Now let's compare that with capacity reservation. And I want you to focus on these two words, capacity reservation. As the name suggests, if you specify capacity reservation specifically for your virtual machines, you are guaranteed for those instances. Some of the parameters that I associate with the capacity reservation are the instance size, you have to specify how many instances, for example, if I'm using D2S version 3, and if I specify two machines, I'm guaranteed for those two machines. And I also need to specify which region or which data center I want to apply this capacity reservation. Now, something important over here, as soon as you specify capacity reservation, you will start getting billed for that. And there's no discount applied, which is if I try to compare that with reserve instances in which you generally say 40 to 60%, I pay full pay as you go price in capacity reservation. Now you have this option of combining that with the reserve instances and apply those savings if you want. But in capacity reservation, there is no term that you need to specify like one year or three year, uh, which is the case in our rights. And as I mentioned, which is very critical, that you are guaranteed for the capacity, which is not the case in RI. You will get priority in RI, but you're not guaranteed for that capacity that you have specified. Now, the question arises, under what scenario I want to utilize this capacity reservation? So let me take an hypothetical scenario. Say if you have a company, you have some important implementation coming and you want to make sure that, uh, say for example, next month, you want specific series of virtual machine that application may be requiring an e-series virtual machine and you want to have guaranteed that when you're trying to deploy that capacity, those number of instances of e-series virtual machine are available for you. Capacity reservation will make sure that. Other thing is that, as I said, your cost, you'll start incurring charges on regular pay as you go. As soon as you specify that capacity reservation, whether or not you have implemented those two instances of that specific machine. But there's no cancellation fee. There is no term that you need to specify like one year or three year, but you'll be guaranteed for that capacity. Another scenario that comes to my mind is the business continuity. If you want to make sure that you have those available resources for you when you are trying to fail over, capacity reservation will make that happen. Also, some of the other services, for example, if you want to implement scale set for your batch application, capacity reservation is the answer for that because it will guarantee that capacity. It will guarantee that you have those specific nodes available for you. Hopefully, this gives you an idea about capacity reservation and under what scenario you can utilize the service. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.